As part of a plan to transition to clean energy, Colorado set a goal to have 940,000 electric vehicles on the road by 2030. To help, Excel is asking the Public Utilities Commission for permission to build a massive public charging network for electric vehicles. We know a big customer barrier is that they say we need more high-speed public charging, and we're really focused on areas that have not seen a lot of infrastructure build out. If approved, the proposal would add 77 cents to the average customer's monthly electric bill. It's a really tough time right now, and um, we, we know the financial challenges with inflation and everything else going on. So we were very mindful of that. And what I would say is we kept that in mind, and, and we really designed this plan that it's going to pay for itself over time. It feels like they're just asking for more money when they already are making profits. Excel customers like Ian Peak don't want to see another increase and say it's not fair to make all customers pay for something they won't use. Not everyone uses electric vehicles, but they want to pass that cost on to all of their consumers. That doesn't really seem to, to make a lot of sense to me. The request comes as the Colorado Public Utilities Commission considers another rate increase request from Excel to help it transition to renewable energy. This one would add $7 a month to most customers' bills. This would just be piling on another increase on top of the other increases that have already been uh, approved by the PUC. Bill Levis with AARP Colorado says those who live on fixed incomes would be hit hardest. That's why he's urging customers to speak out at a public meeting the Public Utilities Commission is holding Wednesday. So I think it's very critical that consumers let the PUC know how they're feeling. Another public comment meeting is planned for July with a decision expected later in the year. Brandon Richard, Denver 7.